camera goes to war. Each day it records the courage and heroism of our troops in battle. But rarely do you see the camera and the men behind it who risk those same dangers to send back their stories and pictures. Cameramen are always on the job. In the air, out in the desert, and in the trenches, it's nothing new for them. In the last war, they set up their cameras 60 yards from the German front line. The man in the tin hat and bow tie is D.W. Griffiths, responsible for that silent epic, The Birth of a Nation. Their get-up may look a bit odd now, but they thrill the audiences of their day with the first shots of a tank going into action. And in 1916, to the sound of a tinkling piano, it lumbered across the screen. It was news. Tank was a magic word. It was Britain's secret weapon. And because of the frontline cameramen, people at home saw it in action. The inverted commas disappeared. The rear wheel that helped the tank over wide trenches went too. So did the cameramen's bow ties. They were issued with uniforms. Wearing the war correspondence flash, film cameramen went out on the job again, sending back frontline pictures that week by week you see in the five newsreels you know so well. Gradually, the services built up organizations. In the army film unit, volunteers from all sections get an intensive training under experts. First comes the theoretical side of the job. Then they're put through battle courses, where they practice taking pictures under actual fire. Till they're passed out to join the hundreds of other forces cameramen who with their newsreel colleagues daily make a permanent record of the drama of the battlefront. This is the real thing. Side by side, they brought back the story of that great raid on Vargsa. Early morning saw the first combined operation by cameramen in this war, an historic occasion. In every kind of light they worked, at dusk and at dawn, from midnight to midday to bring back these perfect pictures. You're in the thick of the fight with our assault squads as the cameraman finds what cover he can under a low wall. He contrasts the smoothness of a destroyer sailing on snow, it seems, with flames that melt the snow all round. Like the wireless operators, the cameraman's job is a highly specialized one. He must work a complicated camera and work it right with hell let loose around him. He comes face to face with the enemy in more senses than one. His sense of humor makes him film a Nazi notice forbidding photography before taking the pictures you've just seen. And they were taken by men like this, Sidney Bonnet of Gourmont British. Here he's on his way to film the Narvik raid. He was the first cameraman, by the way, to fly over Everest. A lot of thought and planning is required to get first class pictures. The equipment's expensive and weighted to lug about in battle. Universal's Leslie Murray wipes bomb spray off his camera near Narvik. Here's Jim Gemmell in the front line during the Battle of Britain. This is the camera and this is Ian Struthers using it to shoot the beaches of Sicily on that historic invasion morning. Douglas Hardy took one of the brilliant Malta convoy stories you saw. Edward Candy's story went down with his camera. He was reported missing too, but now he's fighting fit again. Universal's Frank Parnell changes film in his portable darkroom, the changing bag. Jack Cotter, senior, expert in aerial photography in the last war on this. Ashwood, 8th Army newsreel veteran. Charles Martin, off to France at the start of the war. Subsequently, he went to Dunkirk to record for history the miracle evacuation of 1940. Sergeant Ackland hits the headlines at home when he films the meeting of the American and 8th Armies in Tunisia. Hello, Limey, they said. How'd you do, said his camera. The army film unit was on the job throughout the campaign. They were in Sicily, too. Although you're never told who took the pictures, for headquarters use, each army cameraman has a number board that identifies his film. As you can see, the cameramen are mostly sergeants. They go into action anywhere and any time, armed only with loaded film. Their gallantry is unquestioned. And here's the owner of that.